Hello, welcome back to the channel. If you're relatively new here, uh, this is my face. I feel like I haven't hopped on in front of the camera for a while, so a lot of you might not know what I look like, so this is me. If you're new here, my name is Darren Corbett and I film a lot of POV videos here on YouTube. I shoot Canon and Fujifilm and I'm sure you already know that because you're here watching this video, so I don't know why I'm talking about it. Today we are doing another POV, uh, but for the first time in a while we're not shooting on the, the little Fujifilm X100V. I've been having a lot of fun with that as it's my new camera, but I thought I would kind of go back to what I've been doing before I got that camera and shoot with the Canon EOS R for a little while. So this video is shot on that and depending on how it goes, I don't know what camera I'll be using for the next one, but on this channel I'm going to mix it up and switch between Canon and Fuji. So if you're a Canon shooter, stay here for that. If you're a Fuji shooter, also stay here for that. Thank you. But yeah, it was really fun to mix it up a little. So let's get into the POV. I'm going to switch over to my voice over mode and I will see you in a minute. Bye. <laughs> Hello, so like I said, uh, we are filming on the Canon EOS R today, but we're using the 24 to 105 f4 lens, uh, the L series version. And this is the lens that a lot of people get when they buy the Canon EOS R. It's the kit lens, but kind of like the more luxurious kit lens version. <laughs> um, and the reason for shooting on this is because I've had a lot of people message me saying they're considering buying this camera with this lens and they saw my other POV with it, which I'll link up there, and they found it really useful. So I want to make another one with this lens and see if it can help any more people and maybe I can talk about it a little bit more. So for this shot, I'm kind of using the poles to my left to kind of add a little bit of depth. Uh, and I see this man walking in the distance, so I kind of focus on him and start snapping away, but I'm not getting as close as I would like to but I still take some photos anyway, just to see what I can get. So you can see the kind of idea that I'm going for with the pole on the left, it kind of creates this nice bit of haze almost, um, but he's not close enough. So I'm just gonna wait, park there and wait till he gets a little bit closer. And that's the beauty of this lens really, you can zoom right down or up to 105 mil. So yeah, these are the shots that I got of him a little bit closer to me and he clocks me, which is quite cool. I like it when I can get some eye contact there. And just to show you the difference, I take this shot on 24 mil, just so you can see the difference in the, the vocal ranges there. But that's what I love about this lens. It's just so versatile, but I feel like it doesn't, it's not stingy on any of the quality. Obviously it's an F4, so you're not gonna get as much bokeh as you'd like. It's not gonna be as good in low light but it's incredibly sharp. I feel like you cannot go wrong with any RF lenses. Even the non-L version of the 24 to 105 is still gonna be a winner. You just have a variable aperture on that. So I see this wall to my left and I really like the colors in it. And I know that with my style of editing, I can make it look even nicer. So I snapped this guy here, 105 mil again. I kind of wish that that pole wasn't in the frame. So I reposition myself and, and capture this woman here. I see her and I really like the way she's like swinging her bag as she walks. And look, I like the colours that I got from the window, the blues there and the contrast between that and the wall. And then that's my favourite there with her kind of in stride swinging her bag forward. So I walk along this street here and I, I know there's a lot of roadworks going on so I kind of see it as an opportunity to try and get creative with some framing. So my idea is to shoot through these bars here. Um, I had to go to manual focus on this one and I see this bike rider coming down and I focus on him and captured that but he's not quite in focus and you can't even see the bars anyway so my idea wasn't really executed very well um, so I decided to try again still on manual focus and I see this guy walking in in between those pillows ahead do I say pillows pillars <laughs> so I snap him there and this one is more of what I wanted to go for. You can see the bars, it's a bit wider and just adds a bit of context. So here I'm shooting this building and I noticed that there's a guy that's gonna come in to the, from the right 
and the color on his jacket kind of matches the color of this building. So I snap away here, get him in a few strides and capture him there. And I really like the tones in that photo. I just waited for that opportunity. I saw him walk in and I parked up and waited. I think it's so worth doing that with street photography. So here I'm turning off my silent shutter because I'm actually shooting silent for this session, which is something I haven't done before. Um, but for this I turned it off and you'll see why. Hey man, how are you? The smoke looks really cool coming out of your mouth. Can I take a photo? <laughs> yeah, no. As long as you don't expect me to do anything. No, say. just carry on. <laughs> See, that looks cool. <laughs> I chose a variety of black and white shots and colour for these because I think they came out really well. Sorry, I do street photography so I'm always approaching people. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Looks cool though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that guy was really cool. Um, but it's back to silent shutter mode. Super sneaky stealth mode. So I zoom right into 105 here again to try and get some bokeh. I put the aperture back to four, but I wasn't really close enough to get any blur there. There's a little bit, but, but not too much. I still thought it was an interesting shot regardless. Nothing really special about it, but I just like the way he was standing there. So I turn around and capture this DPD delivery guy. You can see that my focus points are clicking just beside him. I did manage to get this one in focus, but I regret not switching over to my usual focus mode that I do with the EOS R. It's a single point focus that I can just move around the screen and tell it where I want it to focus. But I'm not mad about it because I did still manage to get some shots. And I'm on silent shutter as well, so it kind of takes a scan of the screen, if that makes sense. I see this bike here. I just thought it was interesting. Like, what's the story behind that? Where's the wheels? So I'm walking up here towards Cozy Club, which used to be a bank society, um, but they turned it into like a speakeasy, I don't know, <laughs> like a really nice place basically. And it looks really cool. And this just kind of showcases that 24 mil on this lens is really good for like architecture and stuff. So I capture these dogs here and oh my God, look at them. The one on the left with his tongue out. This one I really like because they look like they're like pulling in different directions. The one on the right's like, please get me away from him. So I'm looking down this lane and I see this woman there wearing red. And I also see this little red detailing on the wall. So I kind of put that in my foreground and get a little match. There's the red on her, red on the sign and red to the right, which I quite like. I'm trying to find little color themes. I'm walking down here and I see this guy riding a bike. I still can't explain it, but it's like a bike on top of a bike. And I put it in black and white because I thought it worked really well. But what is that? That's why I love street photography, you know? So I'm walking through here and the DJI doesn't really pick it up very well. But there's this contrast between the light and the shadow to the right here. So I thought it'd be really interesting to park up and see if I can capture some subjects. So you can kind of see it more in my camera there and I thought it worked really well in black and white again. So I'm wide as the lens can go at 24 just to get some leading lines in there and all I have to do now is wait for some people. Again, I'm trying to move my focus point around but I was in the wrong focusing mode. So I'm snapping these two people and I get these which I really, really like. I found that I was making a lot of these photos black and white and really liking it. I'm getting more and more into black and white photography because I feel like it really sh shows contrast between light and, and shadows. So there was another couple that was walking up so I decided to get them as well. And again I got some shots which I was really happy with. They kind of stopped and looked at something, I was like please carry on walking. And they did. I just really like the leading lines on here. The 24mm is so wide without being too wide where there's loads of warping, which I really like. So yes, I'm back near the market again. I said to myself I wouldn't like come in this area for this video. But, you know, with COVID restrictions in the UK at the moment, we have to stay local. And the market is a really great place to capture things. So I, I did end up going in. 
but I'm really excited for when restrictions lift and I can show you a few different towns around where I live, a few cities and yeah, I'm really excited for future POVs. So I just capture some people in the market. I'm walking up here and I see this couple and I didn't mean to snap them. I wanted to snap the photo, but I actually didn't mean to. I like the photo, but I just wish the framing was better. If I knew that I was taking a photo, maybe it would have been, but oh well. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to go down below and give it a like. It really helps push out my videos to others. So yeah, I'm just waiting for people in the market to catch my eye. And I see this man in the distance. Again, he's the top of his jacket. It kind of has a red detail in it. And obviously there's a red sign above, so I kind of track him and capture that. You can't really see the red detail in the jacket that much in this photo, but I still like his pose and everything. So I take a photo here, but it doesn't really work, so I didn't put it in. But I do see the delivery guy to the left, walking in and out of his stall. So I thought that was really cool. And I particularly like this photo, where you can just see the legs. I just thought it was interesting. But yeah, I don't stay in the market too long, because if you've been watching my channel for a while, you've seen a few market videos. But as I said, as soon as we're able, we'll go to some interesting places together. So as I'm walking out of the market, I see these two people sat near the wall. So I thought it could be interesting to capture them. So I zoom right into 105 again. I'm still on silent shutter, just so they don't notice. <laughs> so I'm getting a mix of vertical and horizontal. So here I really like this one, um, I like that you do get a bit of Bopra in the background and I like this one because he's smiling and I just think it captures like a really nice bit of emotion. I zoom out to 70 just to capture more of the scene, give it a bit more context and I really like that shot. So I'm walking up here and I see these bars to the left which I see an opportunity where I can possibly use some leading lines. So I see this woman walking through and capturing this mighty stride. I love it. I love what she's wearing. I just love this photo. So I'm still waiting here for some other people and I see these two girls walk down here. One of them gets out her phone to take some photos of the market and I decide to take photos of her taking photos. How meta. Is that the right word? But yeah, I really like these shots. Again, you get a little bit of bokeh, a little bit of a tease on the bokeh there. Zoomed into 105, again, a little mixture of black and white and colour. I like that one because the cyclist is in the background, but I thought it was really interesting. Nice blue skies in Norwich that day. Spring is coming. So within Norwich, you get a lot of these kind of historical, older looking buildings. So again, I use this opportunity to show you what you can get with the 24 mil. So I capture this shot here, which I quite like. Again, not too wide that it looks a little weird. I think 24 mil is perfect for these kind of building shots. Hey man, how are you? I really like your coloured hat. Can I take a photo? Yeah, sure. Sorry, I'm doing street photography, so I ask people. You don't have, if you want to, but just be like natural doing what you're doing. I just thought you had a cool look. <laughs> Fun fact, people are more likely to let you take photos if you compliment them. And he did look really cool. Look closer if you don't mind. Nice one. Cheers, man. Can you just look at your phone and then just be a bit natural? <laughs> Yeah, so I really like the colour of his hat and his jacket and obviously the textured wall behind. So yeah, I'm really happy I asked to take these photos. Cheers. Do you want me to send you the photos or anything? Uh, no. <laughs> cool, well thanks for that, I appreciate it. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, see ya. 
So quite often, a lot of people don't want to have the photos that you've taken of them. Sometimes they do and they really appreciate it and I'll give them a business card. But a lot of the time, they're just happy to pose for a photo for you. They're not really bothered about looking at them. So I'm back here using some construction and using some of the bokeh from the foreground to frame these people. And I see this woman wearing red. So I track her so she can match the red tape below. Again, I like colour matching. I think it makes for a really interesting shot. I like that vertical one because you've got the, the bokeh to the left and at the bottom. Again, here I go wide, get kind of look up shot almost, and just wait for somebody to walk through the frame. Again, I like the reds. I feel like the theme of this video is reds. It's just such a strong color, you know? So I see this sign saying, shot happens, and I just thought that was really cool. I like it when businesses have a nice sense of humor and I hope that their business is well and thriving after COVID restrictions lift. So that is pretty much the video guys. So as I said, if you like this video, give it a like. If you wanna subscribe, that would be amazing. We're getting so close to 1K now and it's just really, really exciting to see the numbers go up. And I love hearing from you guys in the comments section and on Instagram. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.